Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so if you haven't been watching uh, this video series on partial derivatives, uh, in particular, if you haven't watched examples zero through three, then you're missing out on all the good things in life. Um, specifically, watch example zero, because there we explain why partial derivatives make sense, where they come from, and we use some really neat visuals that help the discussion. Now, uh, in the last example, example three, we came across Clairaut's theorem, right, aka Young's theorem. And in this perhaps final example, we're going to look at an extension of Clairaut's theorem. Not quite sure if extension is spelled with a T right there or an S, but from now on it's a T. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. Now, what we said in the last example by Clairaut's theorem is that, uh, say, for this function, fxy has to be equal to fyx, so long as both of these mixed partials are continuous in some domain D containing the points AB that we're going to evaluate them at. So for any AB and this disk D, so long as both this mixed partial and this mixed partial are continuous in that disk D, this has to be true. And again, with the qualification of continuity, right? So assuming continuity uh, goes well for these mixed parcels, we can write a stronger statement. Um, that is, we can write the extension of Clairaut's theorem and say something more profound than this, which is that, for example, we can say fxy x is equal to fyxx has two x's and a y. And uh, what's the other way to write two x's and a y? This, right? fxxy. So all three of these are going to be equal and some disk D containing points AB, any random point AB. So these guys will be uh, equal, evaluated at some point AB, so long as and some disk D containing AB, all three of these guys are continuous. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Cool. So we already calculated uh, both of these mixed partials in the last example and showed that they're equal on this specific function, right? Now, what we said is that like, say fx, if we do it quickly, is a partial with respect to x. So that's treat y and anything else is constant. So that's going to be 2x y cubed plus pi y, right? And so then fxy, which is going to equal fyx, is going to be, take the partial with respect to y of this. And so that's going to be 6xy squared and then plus pi, right? Okay, so I did all that to do this, which is to check that any one of, uh, any two of these guys are equal, right? Like, so why don't we check these two since we already have a head start about um, fxy and fyx both being this. So when we do fxyx, we start with fxy, which is this, and take the partial with respect to x, right? The partial with respect to x of this is going to be 6y squared, and that's that, right? And so we need to show what I just did, fxyx is this guy, and we need to show that he is the same as this guy, right? And we already had fyx is this, so fyx is this, so when I go fyxx, I just need to do the partial with respect to x of this. Well, that's 6y squared. Ah, Clairaut's extension works. Um, is there anything else to say? No? I could turn this into a smiley face, though. Okay, that's it. All right, um, keep watching. Take care.